I like the golden snowflake hat. You all know I'm a big fan of caps. I'm not wearing a cap right now. I'm actually I have my winter hat. I'll show you next time the camera's on me, but I took it off. For the time being, maybe I'll put it back on. It's kind of tricky to wear headphones with it. I know lately Vex has been very excited about D2D. He's been in the lab working on his game and just studying his character and basically he's been 2008ing it up. Finding new appreciation for his character and just trying to push himself to his limits. Just bringing all the, the fresh smash feel to the common meta. And I'm really excited to see what he's going to show me here and where he's going to take it. Now DDD does have an infinite on Luigi, but I don't know if Vex will use it. And uh, in addition to that, I don't know if he'll need to. So this guy maintained ADHD's tag. I think he's Vex is going to tell him to take it off because uh, because Wyatt jumped because A. Well, yeah, Wyatt has <laughs> probably a couple of interesting controls. How you doing, Gunblade? I'm all right. I was just talking about how very impressed I was with you in that last game. Oh, thanks. Very good. You've definitely stepped it way up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't played Smash in a while. I've been working a lot. Well, it looks so like anytime I come back to playing, my mentality is just stand there and wait for the opponent to do something. Okay. A lot of the time. Well, what I like to tell a lot of people is sometimes if you have a lot of bad habits compiled up, you know, you have a lot of tricks and gimmicks that you like to use but maybe aren't the best options and you just have all these subpar options in your natural registry of your moves, and then you take a break away from the game, those things naturally fall away from you. Yep. And as you relearn it, you remember all the good things, but then you don't necessarily fall back into all those bad habits. Yeah. So sometimes uh, just a step away from the game and a fresh breath of air is all you need. And it looks like Vex isn't really going to waste any time here. I think that was a mercy right there with that yeah. back throw. He's just reminding him, this is what I can do. Yeah. And it's unfortunate that that happens to Luigi, because in my opinion, Luigi is the best bad character in Brawl. Um, just because of his kill power, he's so scary. I don't know. I think I would have to give that to Wolf. Uh, Wolf, yeah, Wolf, Wolf is a good candidate for that, too. Oh, man. That sucks. I'm, I'm not sure. Can he small step that? Just like he can yeah. to, like, DK? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, wait, wait. No, no, no. On Luigi? I don't think so. And this is looking like a pretty one-sided match here. Yeah. It's it's a tough matchup. This is, It's really hard. Vex, I think, is just going to work this. Yeah, I think Vex is, um, you know, not doing the chain grab all the way, but getting him to a percent where edge guards can be more effective. Just hitting him back out. Luigi's recovery is, isn't really the best. Yeah, especially not against the likes of DDD's back air. I mean, it's almost the back air alone invalidates Luigi as a character if the grab wasn't bad enough. Yeah, Luigi's one of those characters that loses really bad to walls, and DDD can really put put that wall up with that bear. Same concept with like Mark as well. That four there just uh, neutralizes a lot of Luigi's game. And it looks like, uh, is that a small step? I can't even tell. Uh, let's see. It might be. The animation yeah, is really weird. It, is. it looks like a small step. I'm looking step. at the little yeah. line in the background. Yeah, it looks like a small step. Wow. That's really, really small of a step. Wow. A ridiculous three stock by Vex Castron. Now, if you have Vex on Facebook, we mentioned this before, Vex has been giving us updates of, uh, you know. Everything he's find out in the lab. Uh, yeah, been in the lab, learned how to, how to chain grab Meta Knight in the air and everything. Like, all <laughs> sorts, sorts of crazy stuff. But, uh, you know. Vex is the man, one of the greater minds of the game. Absolutely. Really technical as well, um, going back, even back to Melee. Um, you know, Vex, if, if, if it's a person to bring DDD back from, I guess, the obscurity of the viable characters in the game, uh, it can be him. Oh, and... A very fortunate misfire there for Luigi. And I think Vex is like him, even the misfire, I deserve to die. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, see, Luigi or maybe he just wanted to unstale his back air so he could end the match faster. Maybe. That's some next level stuff right there. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. wow. The, okay. The extra power shield for no reason. <laughs> He's like, no way, I want to grab you, so I don't want to get knocked away far enough. Oh my gosh. From this jab now, shield knockback. Who would jab Luigi Psy B like that? Only Vex. <laughs> like, really. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this guy's trying to win Apex. Yeah, man. He's so ruthless. And uh, respect the Gamer1000, you know, he's playing Vex right now. Even though he's losing, he's laughing it off, having a good time. And that's really what it's about, you know? If you're not, like, super try-hard in it, just have fun with it, you know? Vex is showing the type of move clarity and positional smoothness. Excuse me, smoothness. Oh. That is that it kind of makes me want to play again, you know? Yeah. Vex showing some of that older D to D tech that uh, you don't really see too often. That that swallow release to up tilt. Yeah. Chain grab again. Are we going? Are we? Are we raising the roof? If you can see Vex's hand on this controller right now. He had his controller on his lap, and he was chain grabbing with one hand. That's not very nice. In the back air. That's the game. It's all right. Very unceremonious ending. <laughs> All right, and Vex takes it. Next match, Shibo.